All right, how are y'all doing tonight? Well, uh, seen the Trump speech tonight, and uh, I tell you what, it was pretty good. If y'all watched it, it was worth watching. Wasn't it, Stacey? Yes, it was. <laughs> he hit a lot of things, y'all. Trump hit a lot of things tonight. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. He's in, he was in Pennsylvania. But I want to start out tonight talking about um, Joe Biden. Given that speech he was talking about, talking about the mega the mega people and uh, bad mouthing us. You know when Joe Biden gets on there and talks trash about the American people, he's talking about a lot of us, y'all, a lot of us. And uh, boy, he's scared to death. He is scared. To, them them Democrats are so scared to death of Trump. They're doing anything they can to stop him. But look at it like this, y'all. If y'all love this country, and y'all are seeing the route that it's taking, take a minute and ask yourself, do you like the way this country is being ran? Do you like the, the, the route that's being taken right now for America? And when I, when I say that, I mean that by inflation, our energy, our prices, our freedoms, um, our security, which is, you know, people coming across the border, we don't know who they are. Uh, a lot of the big cities, Democrat cities, uh, the crimes out the roof. Uh, you know, CRT teaching uh, trans transgender to the to our kids, and uh, pushing a lot of uh, ungodly things on our children. You know, and uh, teaching children not to love the American flag and love this country and love our freedoms and it's exactly what they're doing is pushing all the mess you know but ask yourself that do you like the way it's going do you like the way the country's going do you like what Joe Biden is doing and he shouldn't even he shouldn't even be the president because we know what happened everybody it ain't too much to ask, and I know I know they like to, the Democrats like to bring this up. They like to say, "Well, you know, it's against our democracy and and it's voter suppression." What was that? No. Oh, anyways, it's voters. <laughs> I see something on the floor, y'all. I was wondering what it was, it was but it was Stacy's feet. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but anyways, um, you know when they they say that voter suppression that we shouldn't ask for ID for people to vote. How stupid. I mean, you got to verify who's voting. We have to have that. And that's not too much to ask anybody to show an ID. Think about it. You go down to the convenience store down the road from your house and you want a beer. What do you got to do? What show do you gotta ID. Do? Show ID. You want to buy a pack of cigarettes or some snuff. What do you got to do? So ID. So it's not asking too much for that. It's that's not voter suppression. You know, that's not voter suppression because you want that they're they're asking for an ID. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy how how these people are. You know, Trump's backing some good people, and uh, we're gonna win it, y'all. We're gonna win it. They, you know, the news. The fake news and all them, they're, they're trying to say that, you know, the MAGA movement is slowing down or it ain't got as much behind it. They're full of it. That stadium he was, or that place he was at today, that arena he was at today was packed out with people. But really, you got to ask yourself, are you happy the way things are going? You know, really. And if you're not, our only chance, our only chance to making this right is backing Donald Trump <coughs> and the candidates that he backs, okay? Now, I've known in the past that Donald Trump made some mistakes backing certain people, you know. He should have watched it a little more closely, uh, some of the people that he was backing. Uh, but I really think he's got a handle on it this time. 
And uh, we can't give up, for sure. We always got to vote. You know, November's coming. Y'all know what time it is. If you haven't gotten ready for voting, you need to you need to vent the people that you're you're or vent the people that you're uh, wanting to back and check them out. Make sure they're legit. You know, and uh, definitely got to get out there and vote. Definitely got to get out there and vote. Don't sit back and say, well, there's a lot of people that's going to vote him in or vote this person in. No, you get your ass out there and you vote. We got to vote, y'all. And just like Trump said, if our numbers are super high, it's hard for them to cheat. He said that tonight. He said, if our numbers is out the roof and voting, it's hard for them to cheat. Because our, our numbers is so high. You know, and uh, think about it. Joe Biden and his crew has got 87,000 IRS agents that can carry firearms. Okay? What do you think them people are going to do with them firearms? And why would you give the IRS firearms? Do you know how many people 87,000 is? 87,000 IRS agents with firearms is bigger than our Marine Corps. These people are crazy, y'all. They're, 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 they're public enemy number one. They are coming after us any way they can. Our taxes are going to go through the roof. We've done give 80 billion dollars to Ukraine. 80 billion dollars. And also, by the way, I heard today that um, tomato farmers over in California are hurting because there's a drought going on over there. And this year's uh, yields of, of their tomatoes is way lower. So that means any of your tomato paste or tomato sauce. tomato sauce. Anything made from tomatoes. Ketchup's made from yeah, tomatoes ketchup. too. Yeah, ketchup. They say ketchup is like 32% higher uh, now. The the price of it went up 32%. It's okay. We're stocked up. We got big bottles. But that's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. That, that $80 billion that we're giving to another country over there, that money could have went to help the farmers get better irrigation and better water recovery to grow their crops. There's a lot of funny stuff that's going on in our country and people need to recognize it. I know there's a lot of people sleep at the wheel. They don't want to talk about politics. They don't want to talk about nothing. They think the life is just going to go on like it is and they don't want to hear nothing. They don't want to believe nothing. You know, and then they want to call people that vote for uh, support Trump. They want to say, oh, well, they're they're racist, or or them people are crazy, or there's conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories is not a theory if it comes true. Okay? But man, we got to do something. We got to do something. And I say we need to vote. Any Anybody that's in there that's a Democrat, that's pushing a bunch of mess on our children, like transgender stuff, CRT stuff, the sits there and tells children because they're black they can't do good. They can't be successful because they're black. Or tells a white kid that they ought to feel they ought to feel bad because white people back in the day uh, had slaves. You don't teach children trash. That's trash. And also, I heard the other day, it was a um, a children's hospital up in Chicago that is giving children sexual toys. <gasps> no. Sexual toys. Ain't that Sick. something? That is children. Sick. Children. Sexual toys like dildos and stuff like that. Like like really nasty, perverted stuff. They shouldn't even know about that children. stuff. They're pushing this crap on our kids, y'all. That's when it crossed the line. Whenever you push trash on kids, that's whenever we got to stand up and say, hell no, you're not going to do it. 
That's sick. That is, that sick. is sick. They should get beat up for that. They really should. Just saying. Man, I tell you. But I, hey, if y'all watch that speech tonight that Trump gave up there in Pennsylvania, it was a good one. He brought up a lo lot of good points, you know. And think about it. I know a lot of people sees a lot of stuff going on in the in the fake news and this and that, but think about it. We got people coming through our border, bringing drugs, and you don't know who they are. They're killing. They're killing Americans. They, he just talked about that tonight. That a couple of people got killed up in uh, Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And there were illegal immigrants that came in and killed people for no reason. Ridiculous. You know? People who shouldn't have been here to begin And Trump did bring up something. I don't know if y'all watched it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell one thing that he that I remember hearing him say. Um, he did say that he's gonna try to make it to where drug dealers get um, executed. That they should be put. They should be put to death. They should. Because they say he said that the average drug dealer in his lifetime kills about five hundred people, and a drug dealer's lifetime kills about five hundred people, and it could be more than that. Is what he said, and I believe that's true. Because think about this, okay? Now some people are going to sit there and say, "Well, Philip, drug dealers are not bad people. They're just, you know, they're just selling drugs." But think about this. It'd be like me. If I was selling poison that was killing people, would y'all want me to be executed? Yes. Yeah. Think about it. If I was out there selling poison that was killing people, then you y'all would say that I'm a bad person and I need to be de dealt with, right? Yep. So that's basically what a drug dealer is. Mm -hmm. He's out selling dope to kids. He's out selling dope to whoever he can. And it's killing people. It's killing children. It's killing uh, teenagers. Yeah. You know, they're, they're selling this dope, and it ain't safe. You know, and that stuff ain't safe. Man. But, America, we got to stand up. Anybody out there watching me, we have to stand up. We have to vote. We have to show up on time to vote and vote. Don't sit back and think, oh, well, we got it this time, or hey, I, it didn't work last time, so let's just sit back. America, y'all need to get out and vote. When it's time to you, for you to vote, you get your ass out there and vote. I know years ago when I was a young man, I didn't care about politics. I didn't care about things. I, I, I was living my own life. I was having fun. I was with my friends and stuff like that. Now that I'm older, especially the garbage that's, been, that's being pushed, I have to pay attention to it because that's my daughter's future and that's my future and my daughter's future and her kids future so we really have to pay attention who we put in in power and make sure that they're right for us this country is the only country like this we are we are the light on the hill and when this light goes out there's no more light in the world. We're the only country like we are. And there's people out there, you know, they, they don't like the American flag. They call the American flag racist. They burn flags. They step on them. They do all kind of, of uh, disrespectful stuff to our flags. And they say bad things about our country. Well, it's kind of funny that they say bad things about our country when everybody in the world is coming through our border now. They talk bad, but they come here. And the people here. that talks bad about our country that lives here, Americans. The biggest threat that we have to our country isn't another country. Our biggest threat to this country is some of these idiot Americans that's trying to destroy our country. And they're doing it for profit. They're doing it for corruption, and they're doing it for power. You know, this country was founded on Christian beliefs, and you can either like that or whatever, but it's the truth. It was it was founded on Christian beliefs. 
So if it offends you that it's that I said that, oh well, it's the truth. <laughs> our our forefathers were Christians, you know. They they this country was founded on Christian beliefs, you know. They're chipping away at our Bill of Rights. They're chipping away at our Constitution, you know. As there, as many of y'all know, if you go out there and you say anything. You say anything on Facebook or certain certain uh, things like that. Facebook jail. You, you can't even say what you believe at your job. People freak out. You know. You know. You wear an American flag. You're 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 tagged as a as a racist. That's foolish. That is foolish. You know. I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all y'all know better than this. And you know something ain't right. You can feel something ain't right with our country. And by the way it's being ran, you know something ain't right. I mean, really, you go, you go somewhere. Look at look at the prices and stuff. And you know what's funny is they said, well, today they said, well, gas is down 20%. Gas is down 20%, you know. So we're really getting a good deal on gas. So a lot more people on Labor Day is going to be going places and doing things because it's, it's down 20 percent yes it's still freaking high y'all it's still freaking high <laughs> foolish people man foolish people but that joe biden he likes to run that mouth he likes to run that mouth and he loves to to uh downgrade and run his mouth about american people and the people that stands for donald trump he loves to push his junk. And how much he hates Donald Trump. That's all he talks about. You know, Donald Trump tonight brought up a lot of issues when it comes to our, our our independence on our our our, uh, our power and stuff like that. And brought up a lot of uh, issues going on with the country. When Joe Biden talks, all he wants to talk is about Trump. That's all he wants to talk about. He don't talk about inflation. He don't talk about uh, the tomato farmers over there having a rough time. He don't talk about nothing but Trump. He's just steady on Trump. He just needs to vote for him. The people that's Love like, in the, that you know, the people that's like independence. They, they're, they, you know, they're right in the middle. Independence, right? They're wanting to hear what we're going to do. They're wanting to hear, hey. We got these problems. What's the answer? What's the solution that we're going to try to fix these problems? They don't want to keep hearing about Trump. Independence and people don't want to keep hearing it. They know we're in a recession. They want to hear what the person's going to do to resolve the issues we have. We got to make them, you know, Trump, not only does he want to make America great again, but now it's save America. We got to save America, y'all. We got to save America. We got to make America more safer. I think you go to some of these some of these uh, Democrat-run cities. It's like a it's like a damn free for all. <laughs> People are getting punched in the face, getting shot, getting stabbed. Ridiculous. You know, you, they, a person can't even go walk down the road without worrying about getting killed. Yeah. That's crazy. And the criminals they let them back out on the damn streets. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. It's like they're standing up for the criminals. And and the and the victims gets nothing. They got their priorities all messed up. You know, and then they try to push transgender stuff on people and trying to get, you know, parents wanting to get their kids' wings cut off uh, and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, wanting to get kids really? to get that 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 surgery where that they can switch who they are. Sorry, that's ridiculous. Well, like Trump brought it up tonight, talking about the swimmer. That's a that's a man. That thinks he's a girl. Uh -oh. As long as you got a dude swimming against a woman, the dude's gonna win. The women will never win. If a guy and like Trump said about the weightlifter, you got a woman that lifts weights, and you got a man that lifts weights, but he says he's a he thinks he's a woman. A woman will never beat that record because that man is physically stronger than a woman. Yeah. No matter what. And no matter what, <clears throat> these people have pushed their crazy ideology and they hate our country so much 
<laughs> they're trying to mix our country up. You know, we can't stand for that, y'all. We can't stand for that. I think back at a time when I was younger, when you didn't have all this craziness going on, because I'm pretty sure y'all see it too, all the craziness, all the time. You know, ain't it a shame to see how far our country has failed? How far this country used to be the strongest country in the world. But it's, it's fallen. It's fallen, y'all. It's fallen. Other countries are laughing at us. They're taking advantage of us. You think, really, you think Putin would be doing what he's doing? You think China would be doing what they're doing? Do you think uh, North Korea would be doing what they're doing? No. And they didn't try that with Donald Trump because Trump is a strong man. And when he talks and when he tells them something, he means it. Joe Biden is a pushover. And the man don't even know where he's at. Somebody else is running the show. We definitely know that. Could be the rice lady. Could be Obama. We don't know. But somebody's running the show for sure. You're running it wrong though. I mean, think about it. Bring it down. Joe Biden's daughter told that her daddy used to take showers with her. And she wasn't no little tiny girl either when that happened. Oh, that's nasty. He's a freaking pedophile. Huh. And anybody that lets their children get around that guy needs to have their damn head examined. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I see I see uh, Biden going up to, like when he went up there for the, the floods and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there was people letting their children around this pedophile. Uh -oh. I don't know, that's man. Stupid. People are stupid. Yeah. People are stupid, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. We got to stand up. We got to stand up for what's right. And I love our country, you know. And I love what America is. I don't love where America's going and how it's changed so much. But I do love America. And I love the American people. But we got some people that's in America that sleep behind the wheel. And then we got ones that are evil, pushing the evil with, along with the administration that's in there. And boy, we got so much, we got so much corruption in the government that it ain't funny. And I don't know what's going to fix that. I, I, if Trump even gets in there, he's got four years. And I don't know if four years is enough to fix what Biden has did and then all the corruption. I don't know what the plan is if Trump gets in there and he gets four more years. Who's after Trump? Who's who's the next person? That's the big question I have. Let's say Trump gets in there and he gets four years. Well, who's the next person that's going to get in there? You know? And there's only a handful of Republicans <coughs> that I even like. There's a lot of rhino Republicans. A lot of flip-flopping Republicans. You know? But man, we got we got some we got some stuff to fix in this country. And the thing about it is there's a lot of people that doesn't like saying what I'm saying. And they don't want to talk about things. They don't want to talk politics. Oh, I don't want to talk politics. Oh I can't I can't say I'm a Trump supporter. I'm proud to say I'm a Trump supporter, y'all. I am. And I tell a lot of people that I'm a Trump supporter. I got a bumper sticker on my truck. This is Trump. You can figure it out. <laughs> you know and you know the thing about it is is Donald Trump isn't a isn't a, a president to where he's just the white people see a lot of people think that they think oh well Donald Trump white people like Donald Trump buddy Spanish people like Donald Trump Puerto Ricans like Donald Trump yep. Cuban Americans like Donald Trump people like Donald black Trump. people like Donald Trump you know and he's one, and you know, Joe Biden wants to come out of his mouth talking about, you know, talking about uh, how he says that, that you know, uh, that that Trump or MAGA people or Trump supporters are, are like Nazis and we're we're fascists. <laughs> Joe Biden is a fascist. Joe Biden, you're a fascist. That's right. And you ought to be in a damn nursing home somewhere. Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris, you ought to be in a whorehouse. 
<laughs> yeah, y'all see that new book that uh, Kamala Harris has got? How she blew her way to the top. She's on a blow dryer. That's true, y'all. Y'all look Kamala Harris up. I'm telling y'all look Kamala Harris up. That's how she got where she's at. Ain't that funny how you got a guy that's nowhere in his mind to be the president, and then you've got a vice president that was a damn hooker. Or slip her way to the top. <laughs> That's why she knows. That's the two perfect people to put in office and to control them. It's like a mo control with a mo control car. They're the perfect people to control like puppets. Because you got a <laughs> prostitute that blew her way to the top. You got an old fogey man that don't even know where he's at that shits his pants. Can't even ride a damn bicycle. If he can't ride a bicycle... There ain't no way in hell he can run a country. The way I look at it, if you can't ride a bicycle, you, you can't run a country. You know? Oh. And then go sit here and threaten American people. Sitting here threatening us. And like he's intimidating us. You know, and doing stupid stuff. Like like getting the IRS to have guns. Did y'all, hey, have y'all seen the video of them training them IRS agents with the guns? It was funny because they were going into this hallway... And one guy's got the gun like this. The other guy is pointing the gun at the other guy behind him. I was like, "This is a this look like a damn soup. It looked like a soup sandwich." Pay your taxes or die. It was a soup sandwich. What are you going to do? Why would you give the IRS a gun? Now y'all know it just as well as I do. If I owe the IRS money, they're going to get their money one way or the other. Whether they're going to freeze my bank account and withdraw the money. Exactly. Why would they need to arm people for the IRS? Are they going to start like the Gestapo and start knocking on doors and putting guns in faces and taking people's money that they that people might owe? Is that what they're going to start doing? That don't make no sense. You don't need a gun to do that. Think about it. They don't need a gun to get their money. Y'all yeah. know it just as well as I do. If you owe the IRS, they can freeze your damn bank account, do anything they want to, right? Yep. Why would they need to give agents guns? There's no need for that. There's no need for that. Unless you're tyrannical and you need some you need some SS soldiers to uh, enforce what you're pushing, just like Hitler did. And the Gestapo. Yeah. That's what I think they're doing. And there's a lot more stories that I could tell you, but I can't say them now. Hopefully, Donald will say them on his video because I kind of give him something. I give him some information. Hopefully, he'll bring it up in his. But I tell you what. It's unbelievable how this country has changed. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that we're having these talks. It's unbelievable that we're having talks about transgenders and about all this all this unorganization and, and how we should never be having these talks. We should never be having talks like this. But we've let these people control and get in there and push their idiot beliefs like their electric cars. Oh, I'm going to tell you all a little story real quick. I had to, not this time that I've mowed my yard, but last time I mowed my yard, right? I go out there, and I'm mowing the yard, and I go out there and grab my weed eater. I got a $500 steel weed eater. It's a mixed gas. It runs, you know, it's two-stroke. So I ran it. Well, I flooded it on accident. I flooded it. So I couldn't start it. So I go back out the shed. I grab the Joe Biden weed eater. I call it the Joe Biden weed eater because it's the battery pack weed eater. <laughs> it's fully charged, y'all. <laughs> I weed eat five damn minutes. And I was like, this thing took a poop on me. <laughs> I took it and put it back in the damn shed. I said, this is a damn Joe Biden weed eater. Five minutes of weed eating and it's all it's got. Batteries, batteries, right? Batteries. 
batteries. That's the it worked, that's the clean clean way to do things. You know, that's the clean that's way. That's the we'll get it done in a week way. <laughs> and they're pushing everybody. You know, the car companies are pushing battery. You know, the EV cars, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot. They're pushing all this battery pack down. How much is it again to replace a battery in an electric car? Oh, it was crazy. I, I seen an invoice was for it twenty six thousand. Yeah, it was twenty six. Like twenty six thousand dollars. That's insane. Yeah, that's way to go green. Yeah, try to go on a trip. Who the hell makes that? Kind try of to money? go on a trip. An electric car from Florida to damn DC. Y'all know how long it'll take? <laughs> You'll be charging that damn thing three hours and make it two hours of driving out of it. <laughs> it'll take you forever to go somewhere in an electric car. I hope you have four weeks of vacation. If, if an electric car breaks down, who do you call? The electrician or you call the damn mechanic? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Like in a red, in my Chevy truck, right? I got a I got a battery in my Chevy truck, twelve volt battery that starts starts the truck, starts the starter, right? Well, if it goes out, I go down there to the auto parts store. I spend one hundred and fifty dollars. I get another battery. I swap it out. We're good to go. Let's say your damn battery goes dead and, you, and it takes a poop on you. Where do you go get a battery for a car? A big ass battery, bigger than this hope chest right here. Where do you where do you get one of them at? You can't just go down the road and grab one. <laughs> and, you know, they're talking about going green. Going green is better for the environment, you know. Going green and having an electric cars is better for the environment. Y'all know what the hell batteries are made out of? Acid. Acid. Sulfuric acid. And lead. Last time I checked, lead and lithium and all that shit that goes in batteries, it ain't that healthy for the environment. No, it's toxic. They won't just let you throw batteries in a garbage can. Uh, so that means they're pretty bad for the environment. Mm -hmm. And I guess John Kerry, I guess John Kerry, he got it figured out, you know, because he's the one flying all over the, the place, you know. <laughs> but I don't think John Kerry flies on, a, on an airplane that's run off batteries. I think John Kerry needs to be the first person to fly an airplane that runs off batteries. Yep. You want to go green, you, you test it first. That's right. Mm-hmm. You let us know how bad it is. This way you can change your mind on your stupid laws and things. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And you know what? There's people out there that loves the hell out of Joe Biden and loves Democrats and they're just happy about everything and they're passing all they this are, crap for you us. You know, I've seen people too, right, before the voting thing. I've I've had customers, right, when, where I used to work. You, you'd have this old guy, looks like. Einstein, you know, his hair is sticking all, out all over the place, and he had a Joe Biden mask with a, a smirk. You could tell he was smirking. Yeah. yeah. Smirking. And I'm yeah. looking at him like, really? Well, like my dad used to, there's a word my dad used to say. My dad says, you're a real nincompoop. You ever heard of the word nincompoop? Mm -hmm. That's them people that vote for Joe Biden, they're a nincompoop. Anybody that votes for a Democrat that's radical like that and acts stupid, yeah. The Democrats of today ain't like the Democrats yesterday, <laughs> like the old times, you know. These today are far left, and they believe a bunch of crap, and they jump on the bandwagon of crap, and it's going to hurt Americans. We're going to pay a lot of taxes. I'm going to have to pay for for uh, low forgiveness for these damn schools. I'm going to have to pay all these high taxes. The more, ta the most taxes we've ever been taxed in 50 years. We're fixing to get it. We already pay enough in taxes, by the way. We're going to bend over without the Vaseline, and we're going to get slammed, son. Damn. The soap ain't going to be dropped. We're going to be bent over and just ramrod. That's what's going to happen that to hurts. us. But, <laughs> but anyways, anyways. <laughs> Stacy, she's having a laugh tonight. It's that damn bear. Shh. <laughs> he don't know what he's talking about. But anyways, y'all, anyways. Make sure you watch Donald Wiseman. <coughs> Make sure you watch Mark Hatfield. Make sure you watch uh, Steve Warren out of uh, Baxter, Tennessee, Faith Chapel Ministries. Support him. Watch these guys. Waterbug68, good friend of mine. Has good videos. He's a mess. Um, but make sure you support these guys. Give us thumbs up. Give us comments. Uh, tell us what you think of stuff, you know, and... Uh, 
what what comes what do you think comes to mind when I talk about some of this stuff? Uh, give us some comments, thumbs up, subscribe to me, share me out to your friends, your family. I try to keep it clean, but there's sometimes we get a little dirty. I am from the dirty south. So it does get a little dirty on my channel, but believe me, we love God here, and we love this country, and we have a good time. This, hey, you know what? You know what? What? This is the patriotic room. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at that sign? Hey, would you just look at that sign right there? Would you just look at it? That's a patriotic Mustang right there. Would you just look at it? Oh. Oh, my God. Would you look at there? Look at that. I'm not selling no damn CDs, y'all. Y'all ain't got to worry about me. I'm not selling no CDs. I ain't trying to make no money. I got money. I ain't trying. I don't need money like that. I love this country. I do this because I love you guys, and I love this country, and we stand on what's right and what's good for this nation, and we stand for God, family, and country, always. Till next time, y'all, me and Stacy. we'll catch you later. We love you guys. Love Subscribe, you. share us out. Support us. We need you. All right? <laughs> See ya. Take care.